Hello gamers, I'm Online Gamer Richie, and this is the Daily Game Review, where I take a game and give it an honest review that is based on my opinion. Freedom Fall. So let's go ahead and get going on this game. Okay, so let's start off with a few facts here. Uh, first of all, uh, I have had this game for a little while, and I have decided to do a review on it, mainly because I enjoyed the game. I've played it for several hours. Um, so I am a little biased on this game because I have played it, and this isn't just the first time I've played this game. So let's just go with that. However, I am going to be extremely honest with you on everything I say. First of all, let's talk about the music. The music in this game, as you can hear, is pretty decent. It's not the greatest music on the planet, but hey, it fits the game. And that is what really counts here, is that it fits. The graphics obviously are kind of cartoonish graphics. They are nice. And the controls on this game are very tight. I mean, they are right on. Now I want to point out, if you haven't noticed, that there is writing on the wall. That is where the story comes in. So if you want to know more about this story, I will give a quick overview. But you really need to uh, read what's going on the wall as you would be playing. So if you want to see what the actual full story is, that is on at least on this, this first level here, you are going to need to pause the video and read it as you go. Uh, so I'm just gonna give a quick overview of what the story is. Basically, you are a prisoner in this very tall tower. And uh, if you can escape, supposedly you will be given a pardon, which then gives you your total freedom, but you have to escape. And like I said, it's not just like this is one tiny level tower. No, 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 no. This tower is really, really tall. And it was created by someone very diabolical. Uh, as far as enemies go, not really too many enemies in this game so far. Um, it's more about avoiding the traps and just being very careful about how you play. Death is not really a big deal. However, do not let that fool you. This game can get to be a little frustrating as you go. Okay, so as far as the music goes, overall, I'd probably give this, this game about a six. As far as that goes, the graphics, while they're not up to super date, um, you know, I'd probably give it, give the graphics probably a 6, 6.5 as far as that goes. However, the, the, the game is extremely fun. So that right there, I'd probably give it probably about an 8, 8.5 on the fun scale, in my opinion. And that being said, I want to talk about a uh, few of the other things on this game. Uh, first of all, let's even purchase it on Steam. By doing that, obviously you get a lot more perks. You get the cards and all that. The, you can play this game um, with a like an Xbox type controller for your PC. I myself am using a uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, so. And death, like I said, is not really a big deal, though anything and everything in this game can kill you. Uh, it is a platform adventure. Um, on Steam, this game has gotten very positive reviews. And on the Metacritic, it has a score of 7.5. Okay. So that right there make, would be something that you might want to look at. I always look at the user scores. I don't care about the critic scores because critics can be wrong. If you happen to like this, 
please let me know in the comments by not only commenting, but giving me likes and go ahead and subscribe. And as always, play the game your way. Later.